Creating a basic custom taxonomy is not all that different from creating a basic custom pulse type. All you have to do is create a new function that defines the new custom taxonomy and define the name and type of taxonomy and WordPress will do the rest for you. And of course, all this is done in that posttypes.php file. So first, let's open it and scroll down to the bottom where we'll start it. And then we're going to add the new custom taxonomy functions. And like before, I added them into the code snippets file so it's easier for you to manage because it's a lot of text and I don't want you to have to write everything. So if you go to chapter 402, you'll find in posttypes.php, here we have the complete function. So I'll copy it out, paste it in, and then we'll take a closer look. As before, it starts off with a comment that explains what this is. This is a function that creates custom taxonomies. Unlike the custom post types, this is one function that will create all the taxonomies. So as we add new taxonomies, we're adding them inside the same function. And you'll see how that works in a bit. As before, it starts with an add action that adds a new action at init, which is when WordPress starts. And the function that's being called is cooking create taxonomies, which is the function directly below. Inside the cooking create taxonomies function, we have a new register taxonomy function that has an array that displays a specific taxonomy. I've commented in what taxonomy it is because, as I said, we'll add multiple taxonomies within the same function. So I've added meal type because that's the taxonomy. And then I've added the basic array. So you'll see it says register taxonomy. It defines the taxonomy name as meal type. Now this is the machine name, so this is what WordPress will refer to. And then inside there's an array that points to whether or not it's a hierarchical taxonomy. It is because it's the meal type. It gives it a label. So meal type, it also has a singular name, meal type, show UI, which is the UI for the taxonomy itself, true, query var, true, so you can query it, and then finally rewrite, and then I set the slug to meal type. So if you remember back to when we created the pulse types, you'll see that this stuff is pretty much the same. It's just that it's inside a register taxonomy function instead of a create new pulse type function. If I save this now and go to WordPress, admin and I reload it, you'll see that nothing has changed. There's a simple reason for this. A taxonomy is a sorting system for a pulse type. But so far, if you look at our function, we haven't assigned this taxonomy to a pulse type yet. Although the taxonomy exists, it's not hooked to anything, so we can't organize anything based on it. That's the next step. 